Along with the increasing popularity of electric bikes and scooters like this, 2016 very much appears to be the year of the gravel bike or the Aero Enduro Road, as we coined it on the GCN show a few months back. Anyway, whilst we're here at the Outdoor Expo at Interbike in Vegas, we thought we'd show you a few of our favourites that we've seen so far. Whoa. So this one is the Ritchie Breakaway frame set, which is new out in 2016. And as you can see, quite a few people have been testing this out on the trails today. So this is their gravel bike. And what makes it unique is the fact that by undoing this bolt here and the one down by the bottom bracket here, you can effectively fold it and fit it inside a suitcase, which is provided, making it very easy to travel. Now you buy it as a frame set, so you can put the components on that you want. As you can see, on this one, they've got some fairly traditional mountain bike bars, which are quite light, but you can, of course, put some drop bars on. This is the brand new Eddie Merck Cycle Strasbourg gravel bike. The Strasbourg has actually been around for a little while, but only in its aluminium version. This is the first time we've seen it in the slightly more high-end carbon. And actually there's some extra carbon if you look closely here on the down tube and also on the seat tube. Slightly more robust so that it can withstand knocks from stones when you're storming down that fire road. It's got the flat mount Shimano brakes, fairly standard 12mm through axles, and it can accommodate up to 42mm wide tyres. For me, this is one of the standout gravel bikes from the Outdoor Expo here in Vegas. And I had to share it with you, despite the fact that I'm afraid you can't buy this Marcy bike in its current form, at least, because this is a custom build from the brand manager. It's the Speciale Randonneur, which you can buy, and I'll show you the actual model, which is available to the public just after this one. But I wanted to show it to you, because I think he's just done a fantastic job at making it look extremely cool and retro, despite the fact that it's running modern disc brakes, etc. So he's got the retro style saddle, the dynamo front light there, the down tube shifters, the Campag, Athena group set, lovely looking bottle cages, and I particularly like this silver silica retro frame pump. The wheels are actually 650B, but they've got 47C WTB tyres on, and actually that makes the circumference around here almost exactly the same as you'd get with a fairly standard road 700C wheel set. I'll just let you admire this, I think it looks great. So this is the actual production model, which you are able to buy yourselves. Uh, immediately striking differences you will notice are the mud guards. It's got a full Shimano Tiagra disc brake group set on it as well. Uh, but the tyres are the same, those WTB 47Cs, albeit on slightly different wheels. This is the gravel bike offering from Canadian brand Da Vinci with their hatchet. Uh, brand new at Eurobike just a few weeks ago, so pretty much hot off the press. Uh, they've lowered the seat stays here, as you can see, which they say gives the bike some extra comfort. Uh, it takes up to 40 C tyres, which is what they've got on here right now, although there is still quite a bit of clearance in there. Apparently they've lengthened the top tube by a centimetre to allow people to run slightly shorter stems, which improves the steering. And they've got some very, very subtle mud guard eyelets there as well, or fenders for those who over in the US. So you can run fenders if you want to, but if you don't want them on, you can barely see the bosses. This is the offering from 3T called the Explorer, which some of you may remember we featured on the GCN show a few months ago when it first came out. Uh, this is 3T's first foray into manufacturing of frame sets actually because they're better known previously for their bars, stems and other components which go on the bike. And it's been designed by Gerard Vrooman of Cervelo fame. Uh, he does open bicycles as well and this is his design of gravel bike. Although I have to tell you that the salesperson has just told me they're keen to say it's not just a gravel bike because this is a bike built with very much performance in mind. So this is a fully aero frame set just with huge clearance. It comes in at just 900 150 grams for the frame set but you can still run 55 millimeter tires on it if you use 650b wheels these currently are 700c wheels with 45 millimeter brand new wtb off-road tires but if we look at the sticker down here they do actually normally only recommend up to 40 millimeter tires for this size of wheel due to the clearances here so this is aimed at the higher end performance part of the market, so people that want to go off-road but go very fast as well. So it's aerodynamic, it's not got the same slack angles for comfort that some of the other gravel bikes have had we featured on this video. 
It has a full Shimano Dura-Ace mechanical group set, the brand new 2017 model. And in general, the finishing componentry on this is very top end, which means it will set you back quite a bit if you do want to invest in this bike. But if you want to go very fast on road and off road, this could well be the one for you. On the other hand, if you want a bike which stands out from the gravel bike crowd, you might want to take a look at this from Renovo. Now they've been making wooden bikes since 2007 and this is their brand new John Day gravel bike model which has just been released here at Interbike. Now it's made out of walnut and spruce and although I haven't had a chance to actually test it myself, from what I've been told it gives a very compliant and comfortable ride which is of course exactly what you want when you take your bike off road. And it's not as heavy as you might think for a wooden bike either. It comes in in total for this bike at just £19. Wow. Love an assisted bike. Uh, anyway, there were a few of the gravel bikes that caught our eye here at the Expo at Interbike. We're going to have plenty more videos coming up for you in the coming days, from the weird to the wonderful to the wacky to the new. So make sure you keep your eye out on the channel for them. Uh, in the meantime, though, you can find our entire tech playlist in the top corner up there. Or if you'd like to see Cy and Matt riding gravel bikes whilst I'm on a road bike in Wales, you can find that by clicking in the bottom corner down there. And don't forget to subscribe to GCN. It's absolutely free. All you've got to do is click on the globe. Ciao.